Well, we are playing, and Jody is doing super. And so let's just review again what you've already taught. Okay, okay so you go through it. You're going to have him go forward. Go forward consistently. You're going to stay back by the stirrup. You're going to ask for his nose. That's his hand, isn't it? That's your yep. dance partner's hand. And it should feel exactly like a dance partner's hand. You wouldn't want to feel your dance partner's hand pulling on you. You would feel it want to be nice and soft and alive. Have the hips move over enough that the front feet stop. Perfect. Okay, now that's great. And then, okay, you can start him forward again. And ask for his nose. Always ask for your dance partner's hand first. Okay. Okay, and then this time we're going to move his hips over and then move him back. Okay. All right, okay. nose, hips. hips over, and, and hips back. Great. Now forward. Don't pull him forward. Always drive him forward from the hindquarters. All right. Perfect. Now we played with one more thing last time. That was a silver concho on the front of the saddle. And we kind of took it slightly to the side away from you. And back to the forward. Now, the further you take that silver concho to the side, the less it wants to go to the side. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is have it go to the side, maybe one or two little steps, and then come back forward again. Okay. So one. away, now back forward. Okay. Now turn it in, turn that maneuver into a really fluid, pretty maneuver. So forward. Forward. Hand me your nose. Hand me your nose. Silver concho. And back forward. Now you have to follow my lead, okay? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what to do, and then you have to do it. All right. Okay, here we go. Go forward. Ask for Charlie's nose. Okay, ask the silver concho to move away from you. Great. Now ask the hips to move away. Now ask them to go forward. This is uh, like a square dance. So everything's going to be a constant motion. Hips over. Nose. And hips back. Now forward. That, remember, driving forward from the driving hindquarters. From Don't pull him okay. forward from the front end. Perfect. And concho over just a little bit three steps and one two three then forward and back to the center okay. nose toward you and hips around to the right nose. hips and, and hips. hips back yeah. great absolutely perfect you want to try it on top Sure. And I'll show you. I'll do all the work. All you okay. get to do is just to get to sit there and look beautiful. Sure. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly the same things. No different. All right. And so I'm going to have Charlie go forward. But I want you to put your hand right here on his hip because okay. that's what we're going to work on first. And, we're going to, and you say now as soon as that hip starts to move over. Okay. Okay? Now. Now, when you said now, that would be the moment that I would release the rein. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that tells you when you should release the rein. Okay. So forward. Okay. And okay. hips. Now. Right there. Okay. Now, you see, it's funny, but as that hip moves over, as you just pick up and pull on this rein, and that hip moves over, that stops your horse, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Completely stops him. And do you see how you can actually take this rein and make that hip bone move to the right. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now here we'll go kind of quickly. Here's, here's his nose coming to me. All right, so Charlie, hand me your nose. Now that's exactly where you want his nose when you're riding okay. in a circle to the right or to the left. Okay. And then you say hips over, 
Now hips back. Now forward. Now hips over. And see your 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 hindquarters, your seat, what it does, it's facing this direction and just kind of goes oops yeah. and comes right on around. And then forward, hips over, now hips back. So now I want you to really focus and think about this spot right here. Okay? So keep your hand right on it. Okay. All right? So now we're going to take that spot over and then we're going to take it back. Okay. So now we're taking it forward. Mm -hmm. And now here we're going to take it over. Okay. Now we're going to take it back. Okay. Okay, let's play with one more spot real quick. Okay. Let's play with your silver concho because you did that. So now we're going to take the silver concho. You tell me the instant. Now, right now it's going forward and to the left. So you tell me the instant that that concho starts to go to the right. Okay, now. Right there. Now. And then release it. Good. I'll do it again. Okay. Now. Yeah, right there. Great. And so all you're doing is you're just taking the silver concho, and that silver concho can't move to the right without Charlie going to the right. And when that silver concho is going slightly to the right, you're slowing his forward motion down, so it's kind of coming up to a stop, or he's actually walking in his right lead, or he's doing a diagonal to the right, and when you were doing his hips like this, you were actually doing a turn on the forehand. So you were doing all that dressage stuff. You were doing outstanding. <laughs> you want to do it yourself? Let's try it. Sure. Here we go. One stop. So we're going to pick up, move the hips Move this hip over. Right. So moving forward. Now take both hands on this rein, right here, and move the hip. Just like that. Okay. Absolutely perfect. We'll come back and we'll play some more, another lesson. We'll just keep doing this and see how many different things we could do with just three, these three spots on the horse. All right? Great.